Hey guys, welcome back to another screencast. It's uh, Mac user here, and today we're going to talk about creating um, USB um, bootable drives. But uh, instead of actually using like the eight or ten gig USB drives I showed you in another video, so you have separate operating systems on separate pen sticks, we're actually going to use an eighty gig hard drive, and I'm just going to split that hard drive and partition it. Uh, instead. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's get into the video. So first things first then, I've got my hard drive. Uh, it's an 80 gig hard drive, spare old hard drive that I found and I've downloaded as you can see the operating systems that I want. So all my operating systems are downloaded and they're located in the applications folder. And I've got my hard drive, plugged that into uh, the drive. The first thing you've got to do is go into Disk Utility, so whichever way you want to use uh, disk, uh, to get into Disk Utility, I always use Spotlight for mine, and there you can see the drive itself. So there it is. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the process of partitioning it, and I'm using Sierra as the operating system, so the actual format inside of it is slightly different to that since uh, 1010, which was Yosemite. Later on, I'll be booting to um, Maverick, so you can actually see the old version of the uh, disk utility, but the principle is basically the same. Anyway, moving on, I'm going to split my uh, hard drive or partition it, um, and all I'm going to do is start the process of partitioning the drive. And each particular build that you want, each each operating system that you want to install um, to create for this boot drive, um, you just need about uh, 8 to 10 gigs. So all I'm doing is I'm just partitioning the drive and creating it um, each one as 10 gig. So I've got my two drives already partitioned there. So as you can see, I've um, got my 70 gig left. So I've still got 70 gig spare, which I'll split that into multiple drives. And I've got my 10 uh, gig. And uh, notice it's called Untitled. And for this particular one, I'm going to use, much like I did in a previous video, I'm actually going to use Terminal to create um, the operating system and the one we're going to use is um, Sierra. Um, as you can see uh, they're both called Untitled and I want to make sure that I get the right one uh, for the Untitled so I'm going to use the terminal command in a minute um, it's going to point to the um, external hard drive or external USB uh, called Untitled so you just got to make sure that there is only one Untitled um, USB on your desktop. So the other one, I'm just going to rename that to one uh, for practical reasons. So uh, that's that bit there. Let's move on to the next part. Okay, so I go into terminal, uh, open up terminal, and then I go to, and there's plenty of uh, forums out there really, so I'm actually going to my website. Um, I've had a few issues uh, lately with the terminal command um, running it. Uh, it seems to be that there are there are a number of different versions out there and some of them work, some of them don't. So I'll post the link below uh, to the one that I know that definitely works. Obviously I create uh, that, cut and paste that uh, terminal command into um, into my terminal box, press enter, and it will obviously prompt me for my administration password. Remember, you need an admin account to run this, and then the process will now go away and build the uh, installer for that particular USB. The principle is exactly the same, but instead of using different USB drives, I'm actually using one external hard drive, and from it, I'm going to partition it into all the operating systems that I require. Um, it's actually quite an easier method to do instead of walking around with loads of USB drives you can actually just walk around with one external hard drive that's got all the operating systems on there. So I'm going to fast forward the video now because I'm sure you don't want to see it uh, loading the data file onto the untitled USB drive and creating it as a boot drive. And there it is, it comes up in terminal that it's, it's finished the uh, process and it's complete. And as you can see on the desktop, you can see the name of the file has changed from untitled uh, to the installer of Sierra. Uh, and I've just double clicked that just to so you can just see uh, the drive. The next one I'm going to move on to then uh, is uh, I'm going to actually not use Terminal for the next um, operating systems I'm going to create. I'm actually going to use a program that I've sort of stumbled across 
uh, in the past, which is not too bad, and it's called Disc Maker X. And there are different versions of Disc Maker X, but uh, the one we're going to use is the one that's compatible with Sierra, because I'm running Sierra on this uh, machine uh, that you've seen the video from. So download the installer, and all we do is you just double click it and install the program into your applications folder. So we'll go through that process now. And there it is, I'll drag it into the applications folder and it's done. So I'm going to have to go into disk utility because obviously I remember you've got to partition the hard drive and again you move on to the uh, 80 gig hard drive we've got, click on the partition option and as you can see from our partition I've got um, 10 gig already allocated to first drive which is Sierra. Uh, add another one, uh, so you click the plus sign and I'm now going to reduce this one to again 10 gig. So 10 gig is roughly what you need for it. Uh, once you've done that, click um, partition, and then the process will obviously go away in disk management and do the uh, splits of the drive to what you want it for. Hopefully, you'll get the green tick, and it's all done. So I've now got a new uh, USB 10 gigs worth of uh, spare data there. Um, ready to go and I've just called it untitled you can call it anything that you like when you're using disk maker so it doesn't really matter the operating system is downloaded so it's actually in my applications folder which is very important and then I double click the disk um, uh, disk maker X and it prompts you with three different options here so it gives you the three different operating systems that you want to use and I've chose El Capitan it's intelligent enough within its programming to see that the um, El Capitan is in my applications folder, so I'm happy with that because that is the latest build that I've downloaded using my app ID, using my Apple ID, and then obviously it now prompts you to where you want it located from. And I'm just not going to use a USB drive, I'm going to use my Untitled drive. So I've pointed to that, I click on that, and it obviously prompts me it's going to erase it. Uh, are you happy with that? And I click continue. And much like terminal the pro whole process goes away builds the drive asks you for the admin password which you obviously type in and the process can take up to five to ten minutes it just depends on on how quick your particular machine is how quick the USB connection is with the drive I'm actually using a USB 3 to USB 3 so this one is actually quite quick I'll just quickly fast forward the video When it's finished, it prompts you and it says, you know, congratulations, it's all done, gives you the spiel, and you can donate to them because it's a free piece of software. You just quit the application once you've finished and you're good to go. So that was El Capitan, and it is all fairness a lot less painful than trying to remember what the terminal command is uh, to run it um, inside terminal on your Mac. So that's obviously a, another option you can use. Um, and again, I'll post the link in below so you can actually go directly to it so it's worth checking out now we're going to move on to the third one which is Yosemite so I need to create another build or uh, boot drive for Yosemite so again disk management or disk utility is what I need so I click on the hard drive and again we go back to partition I've already remember I've already created the two hard drives already add a plus sign to that one and then locate the, uh, the drive in question you want reduce that down to 10 gig Obviously, you keep it as untitled. It's entirely up to you. It doesn't really matter when you use uh, the uh, other the pro software program because it prompts you to the location of where you are. But for ease and for consistency, I've just called it untitled. So again, that will go away and partition the drive, and hopefully, I'll get a nice green tick once it's completed its process. Okay, in this particular video, it took a little bit longer, so I'm just going to fast forward that until you get to the uh, green tick. And there we go, uh, and it's obviously partitioned the drive, so good, everything's good to go. So we'll close that, and then we go into the Disk Maker X again, and I double click it, and it's going to be the untitled drive that I'm going to use. There's sort of a 10 gigs worth of data there, and here it comes up. So it prompts you once again which one you want to use. Uh, Yosemite is already downloaded, so again I click on Yosemite, it prompts me, it says, oh, I know there's one in there, uh, is that the one you want to use, and you click yes, and then obviously if you want a USB drive, you press that button, but I'm not going to, I'm going to use a different um, 
location to actually build it to, which is the untitled disk that I partitioned earlier. So we click on that option and then obviously click on the prompt to locate the drive in question. And again, I use untitled. It prompts me I'm going to format it. And I go, yep, yeah, happy days. Click continue, walk away. Once it prompts you for your admin, admin password, just like it would do in terminal. So I'll put the, uh, that tip password in. And please remember, it must be an admin account that you do this from. It won't work if it's a standard account or guest account. And I let it now go away and do um, the data transfer and creating the boot drive uh, to that, uh, that um, partition drive that I've obviously just created. So we'll fast forward the video again. And it prompts me, when it knows it's completed, it always prompts you that it's been successful. If it doesn't work, it will also prompt you to tell you that it hasn't worked for whatever reason. And it could be a hundred reasons why that is the case. So you can donate um, to them. It's obviously a game, as I've already said, it's a free piece of software. And it's actually uh, quite painless to use. It's a very handy, handy tool, certainly if you've got to recreate your bootable drives. So that's what I've used. I've used obviously Terminal um, for creating um, uh, Sierra and then for uh, El Capitan and for Yosemite I used uh, Disk Maker X to use that function. So pretty, pretty simple process with regards to that. So uh, that's that part. Uh, what I'm going to do now, we're going to boot into Mavericks and then we'll go through how do we do legacy um, installers and we can actually um, create Lion, uh, Mountain Lion and a Mavericks um, installer. Um, it's quite prominent because I do need to actually create a Mavericks installer. Okay so I'm in Mavericks and now I'm going to uh, go through uh, the same procedures we did before inside Sierra uh, but we're going to use a earlier version of uh, Disk Maker X uh, and as I've already mentioned you need um, an older operating system to run this if you want to create um, your USB builds of um, Mavericks and below. So let's uh, move on to that. So go into Disk Utilities, and as you can see, this is the old version of Disk Utilities. So this is the one that was around um, until um, El Capitan. El Capitan was one when they changed it and moved over to the new configuration but the process is, is exactly the same as before you need to go into your partition and obviously create your partition from there so using the plus sign and the process is exactly the same as what I did in Sierra uh, I'm going to do an untitled um, drive and I'm going to obviously reduce it to the size of 10 gig so 10 gig like the predecessors once that's done click part apply and then partition and then obviously it goes away uh, you see a little progress bar down the bottom in uh, Disk Utilities, and then it will create that new untitled USB drive as a partition, so I can use that partition to create my next installer. So next thing we can do is go back to the internet, and we'll look at uh, Disk Maker X, and we need to look at the previous versions. And here I've actually downloaded two different options that you can utilize. So, um, and if you just read through the uh, information that's available within the um, website, you can obviously decide which one to use. So, as you can see here, I'm also cross-referencing the, uh, the two that I've actually downloaded. Um, they give me two different options. And the one that I found, which was the um, legacy version that's obviously going to uh, enable me to run that one. Um, so it's the actual on the screen you can see there is like the uh, next second one down. We go into our application folder because we've got to make sure that we've got our installers downloaded from the app store. So as you can see there, I've got my three installers that I'm going to use. So the principle is exactly the same as it was before in Sierra. And all I'm going to do is open up the Disk Utility X program. So double click it. And again, the same process as before. It comes up and it gives me the option. Mavericks is the one I want to use. It obviously identifies that Mavericks is in the application folder. And once again, uh, we can 
uh, go through the process. So I'm going to select my drive, my untitled drive, choose that drive, and now it's going to go away. Obviously, it's going to warn me, it's going to erase it, click continue, uh, erase the drive, and let it process that information. And like before, it'll take a little short period of time, about 20 seconds before it prompts you for the password. Put in the password, so again, the administration password, can't stress that enough, make sure it's an administration account you're running this from. And I'm now going to fast forward the video so it will build the drive and I'll, we'll come back in a moment's time. I think this drive, the actual process of it took about four to five minutes, so it's quite a long time forward to actually uh, build the drive. But as you can see, now it's obviously populating uh, the USB drive um, of Mavericks, and then it's going to issue the information and say that it's successfully built the uh, installer. So I've got the installer, it's obviously clearly done it, it's informed me that information, you've got that process where you can obviously donate or just quit the application. And that now is Mavericks. To uh, finish things off, I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did with Mavericks uh, for Mountain Lion and Lion. So I'm going to go into Disk Utilities, create uh, the 10 gig um, partition, and then obviously run through the process using the uh, Disk Maker X um, to build the Finder 2 operating systems. Once that's done, uh, we'll check back uh, to the final part of the screencast where I'll just quickly sum up what we've actually done. And here we have the uh, final result. All the uh, builds are done. So the three legacy versions using through El Capitan. So that was Mavericks, uh, uh, Mountain Lion and Lion using the old legacy version of Disk Creative, uh, Disk Maker X. And then obviously I used the later version to create Yosemite and El Capitan. Then the final one, I used for Sierra was the terminal command, which is quite uh, another popular method that you can use. Just remember, I, I just used an 80 gig old hard drive and a caddy that I bought off the internet, um, and then I just split the drive down into its partitions and then just get systematically get went through the process. Obviously, for the, those of you who are running the latest operating system, then you obviously go through all the, uh, the, late, um, the, the latest version of uh, Disk Maker X. Um, and if you want to use any legacy stuff, then obviously you're going to have to boot to an older operating system. Um, not sure whether it works in Yosemite or not, but I didn't really want to take the risk, hence the reason why I just booted to Mavericks to ensure that I could then run the three installers because I was I needed to create a Mavericks installer and um, two Lion installers as well. Uh, but uh, hopefully it was helpful for you. Don't forget to uh, check back later uh, for further screencasts. And remember, if you've got any information or want to know anything more, then put something in the comments below. Uh, I definitely do answer the comments, so uh, it'd be handy to know I have a few other videos that are in, in the pipeline that once I get sorted with work, I will um, obviously create those videos. Uh, but don't forget, uh, as always, have a great day. Take care.